this demonstration, we will go over how we can configure interactive logon messages using group policy. On your server manager, go to tools section and open Active Directory users and computers and group policy management console. On your Active Directory users and computers console, we can expand our sanuja.local domain, expand the netitgeek OU, and we see that the client computers OU listed here. And this is where I have all my domain join computers are located. Remember, if you have join a computer to your domain, it will most likely gonna show up under the computer section, and you will have to move to an OU in order to apply group policies properly to your devices. So in my previous demonstration, I have moved my devices to client computer sec OU, and that's where I will be applying my group policy. Let's go back to our group policy management console. In here, if we expand the sanuja.local domain, and we expand our organizational unit NetIT geeks, and we do see the client computers OU, and we also see the group policies uh, that we have created under the group policy objects uh, list down here. The reason why I'm gonna apply to client computers OU, because on the active directory users and computers, all our computers that are domain join are listed under the client computers organizational unit. So by applying my GPO to the client computers OU, it will apply to all of these devices. Typically, the interactive logon messages type uh, GPOs are applied to the computers, not to the users. So that's why we will be applying right here. So that just like before, I'm gonna right click on the client computers OU, select the create a GPO in this domain and link it here option. And I'm gonna give a name that is easy for me to remember. So for this, I'm gonna skate, um, you know, I'm gonna type as, you know, interactive logon messages, but you can type whatever you like for your GPO name, and I'm gonna click okay. So now if I expand this, we have a new uh, GPO called interactive logon messages right here, and it got listed under the group policy objects uh, down here as well. So next thing we're gonna do is to right click on this GPO, click edit, and navigate to the location in which we can change the logon message. So on your left hand pane, you need to go under the computer configuration section, expand the policies section, expand the Windows settings section, and then expand the security settings section. And in here, we will expand the local policy section and select security options. This will list all the security options available on your left hand side. And what we are looking for is the interactive logon messages. So if you go down a little bit here, we have few interactive logon messages options right here. So if we go from all the way from here to here, it's everything is interactive logon messages. What we are interested in is the message that the user see when they attempt to log on. So there's two of them we need to edit. One of them called the interactive logon text message, uh, you know, for the user's attempt to log on, and the other one is the title. So the title is the one that's gonna show up at the very top uh, with a little bit of uh, bigger letters, and the text is whatever the text that you will be, uh, you know, giving to your users. So the title, I'm gonna say, uh, you know, I, you can open the title by double clicking uh, this option. So currently it's not defined, but I'm gonna define this policy by enabling it right here. And I'm gonna put a title. So I can say, welcome to net ID geeks. And I will call it security notice. You can call it whatever you like. And I'm gonna apply it and click okay. So now it is enabled and I see the policy settings right here. The next option we're gonna do is the 
message text for users attempting to log on. So I'm going to double click on that one and I'm going to define this policy and you can put whatever the message text uh, you would like to have uh, that which your users will see before logging in. For this example, I'm going to use a standard message. Uh, so you can put whatever uh, you like. Uh, you can put, uh, you know, I'm going to remove spaces here. So this is just a typical standard uh, text message uh, typically a user would get uh, when they try to log in uh, to a system. You can put whatever you like. So it's whatever the message your organization or company would like to display for all your users. So I'll say uh, again, welcome to Net uh, IT Geeks. And then the message will display like that. So this is just basically a text message. You can put whatever you like. So I'm going to say apply and click OK. So now these two are set and ready to go. And it is part of our group policy management, uh, a GPO. And it is applied to our client computer section. So we can close them. Now we have confirmed that our GPO is applied to the client computer's organizational unit. We will go to our Windows 11 machine, go to the start menu and type CMD for command prompt. And then we will type our familiar GP update slash force. And at the same time, I'm going to go to my Windows 10 machine and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to CMD, the command prompt, and I'm going to type GP update slash force. What this is going to do is to pull our new GPO to these client devices. Once that update has been completed, we can close the command prompt, go to the start menu and sign out. And now on this Windows 11 machine, if I click on it, I'll get that message, welcome to NetIT Geek security notice with the security notice I entered. And every single time user try to log in, this is the notice they're going to get on their Windows 11 machines. And I can click OK and proceed to log on. And on Windows 10 machine, so the security update has been done. I mean, the group policy update has been done. And I'm going to do the same thing. I will go into the user and I will sign out. Again, on the lock screen, when I click on it, I'll get the same security notice. Welcome to NetIT Geeks security notice and that information that we put it onto the, our group policy is showing up here. So that way we get the same thing, same policy can be applied across multiple users connected to your domain and that same warning can be shown to your users when they try to log in. So this will work on your Windows 11 machine and Windows 10 machines connected to your domain. That's everything for today. Please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day.